betrayal within the family. Why was Paul Vario an important figure in the Lucchese crime family? And how did he become powerful? How did Vario's crew manage to carry out the bold JFK airport robbery in 1978? And what happened as a result? Henry Hill Jr., who was once closely associated with the Lucchese crime family, but later became an informant, shared some insights about the world of organized crime. What did he reveal about it? So many questions, right? Don't worry, we will answer all these questions in this video, so stay tuned till the end. Paul Vario, a well-known American gangster, led the infamous Vario crew in the Lucchese crime family. His life and criminal activities were nothing short of extraordinary, but his family also got caught up in his illegal affairs. Paul Vario was a notable figure in the American criminal world, thanks to his connections and affiliations. Born on July 10, 1914 in New York, Paul Paul Vario became a powerful figure within the notorious Lucchese crime family, leading the infamous Vario crew. He held sway for nearly three decades. Throughout his criminal career, Vario masterminded various illegal activities, but he's best remembered for his role in the audacious 1978 Lufthansa heist at JFK Airport. Vario's influence over labor unions helped his crew pull off this daring robbery with relative ease, partly by keeping law enforcement at bay. Apart from his criminal endeavors, Vario also dabbled in legitimate businesses, including stores, bars, restaurants, and taxi services. This dual life allowed him to maintain a facade of respectability while orchestrating a complex web of illicit operations. What set him apart was his remarkable nearly 30-year reign as the leader of the notorious Vario crew. This leadership role solidified his position as a formidable figure in the criminal underworld. Under Vario's guidance, the Vario crew engaged in a wide range of illegal activities, from armed robberies to underground gambling operations. Over these three decades, Vario's influence and notoriety grew, earning him both fear and respect from friends and enemies alike. His ability to navigate the treacherous landscape of organized crime, evade law enforcement, and maintain his leadership position was a testament to his cunning and strategic prowess. Vario's enduring leadership also spoke volumes about the loyalty and trust his crew members had in him. It was largely thanks to his skill in keeping the group united and focused that they could successfully pursue their illegal endeavors and achieve their common goals. Vario became infamous as a big-time criminal, especially because of his daring role in the 1978 Lufthansa heist at JFK Airport. This heist was a game-changer, not only for Vario but also for the world of organized crime in America. The Lufthansa heist was like a carefully choreographed dance of criminals, meticulously planned and incredibly daring. They made off with millions of dollars in cash and priceless items from the Lufthansa cargo area. It's one of the most famous cash robberies in American history. And who is at the heart of this bold operation? None other than Paul Vario. His leadership showed he was not just street smart, but a criminal genius who could run complex criminal schemes. Pulling off the Lufthansa heist brought Vario and his gang fame, but it also brought a lot of heat. The police and the public had all eyes on them. What's fascinating is that even though they nabbed a ton of money, a big chunk of it disappeared without a trace. This added a mysterious twist to the story, and people couldn't stop talking about Paul Vario, the man behind it all. So, how did they manage this heist so smoothly? Well, Vario had a secret weapon his influence over labor unions. This gave them a unique advantage and a shield from the prying eyes of the law. It's like having a superpower in the world of crime. Vario's ability to control key union members was like having an ace up his sleeve, making their illegal activities fly under the radar. Now, to make it easy for you, let's understand the several factors that contributed to the internal conflict within the Vario family. First, Paul Vario was a very demanding and controlling boss. He expected his family members to be absolutely loyal to him, and he was quick to punish anyone who crossed him. This led to a lot of resentment and bitterness within the family. Second, the Vario family was divided by factions. Paul Vario had two brothers, Carmine and Anthony, who were both involved in the family business. However, Carmine and Anthony often disagreed with Paul, and they sometimes worked against him. This division within the family made it difficult for Paul to maintain control. Third, the Vario family was infiltrated by law enforcement. In the early 1980s, the FBI recruited Henry Hill, a close associate of Paul Vario, to become an informant. Hill provided the FBI with valuable information about the Vario family's criminal activities. 
This information led to the arrest and conviction of Paul Vario and many other members of the family. But his extraordinary leverage came from his control over labor unions, which played an indispensable role in the smooth functioning of the airport heist. This was a game changer for Vario and his crew. With his influence over these unions, he could manipulate work schedules, divert attention away from unlawful actions, and erect a protective barrier against unnecessary police interference. It was akin to a cloak of invisibility, shielding the Vario crew from the prying eyes of law enforcement and allowing allowing them to carry on with their clandestine operations with relative impunity. This interconnection between Vario's criminal enterprise and what appeared to be legitimate labor unions underscored a broader pattern in the world of organized crime. Criminal networks often infiltrated and thrived within seemingly lawful businesses and industries. Vario's adept management of this intricate relationship demonstrated how criminal entities could operate discreetly under the guise of ostensibly legitimate enterprises, making it a formidable challenge for authorities to uncover their illicit activities. In addition to his involvement in criminal endeavors, Paul Vario ventured into various legal economic enterprises, including the operation of stores and restaurants. Yet, here's the intriguing twist. These seemingly above-board establishments served a dual purpose. They functioned not only as legitimate businesses, but also as a clever cover for concealing the clandestine activities of Vario's criminal organization. It was akin to a magician's sleight of hand, with organized crime seamlessly operating under the nose of the law while appearing entirely respectable on the surface. He was a master at keeping his true intentions hidden from both law enforcement and the public. He did this by mixing legal and illegal activities cleverly. His seemingly legitimate businesses weren't just for show, they were a cover for the large sums of money he acquired through illegal means. Vario used these businesses to clean the illegally obtained money. Essentially, he made it look like the money came from his legal ventures. This sly maneuver helped him dodge suspicion and scrutiny from the authorities. It was like putting a secret layer of protection around his illegal activities. But there's more to it. These legit businesses also served as meeting spots and hubs for his criminal associates. They weren't just for making money look clean. They were the backdrop for his illicit operations, where his partners in crime gathered and plotted their next moves. What's really interesting is that Vario kept his grip on the criminal underworld while doing all of this. And as we discussed, discussed this earlier, his associate, Henry Hill Jr., spilled the beans and gave crucial information. This inspired the famous director Martin Scorsese to write the screenplay for the well-known movie Goodfellas. This film gave us a fascinating look into how the Lucchese crime family operated and who they worked with. Henry Hill Jr., who was part of Vario's crew and later became an informant, shared a lot of information about the criminal activities, alliances, and the different people involved with the Lucchese crime family. It was like a window into the secretive world of organized crime, helping us understand it better through the magic of cinema. And as shown, the internal conflict and betrayal within the Vario family had a devastating impact on its influence. The family was weakened by the arrests and convictions of its leaders. Additionally, the family's reputation was tarnished by the fact that one of its own members had turned informant. As a result, the Vario family lost its power and influence in the New York City underworld. Do you agree with these points or not? Let us know in the comments section below and do subscribe